limits the limits of functions of several variables. Uh, first, the official definition of limit is we defined as uh, for every epsilon greater than zero. Uh, there exists a delta greater than zero <coughs> such that uh, the inequality fx of y minus l uh, less than epsilon will never Whenever the x minus a square plus y plus, uh, minus b square take square root greater than zero less than delta, that means the the inequality f x of y minus a minus l less than epsilon. Uh, this this inequality holds. Whenever the x minus a and the square root of x minus a square plus y minus b square less than delta, <coughs> the the inequalities still hold. Then we see that the limit. The limit of f x of y as x of y approaches approaches to a b. That is the point x of y is uh, is close enough to a b. Uh, the limit is L. We write uh, the limit as uh, limit x y uh, to a b f x y equals L. The definition is actually says that when x y is close enough to a b then the f x y can be arbitrarily close to l or uh, that the f x y the distance between f x y to l is arbitrarily small when x y is close enough to a b close enough that is means for some delta when the zero distance is less than delta, maybe greater than zero, then the f x of y can uh, is close. Um, the distance between f x of y and l can be arbitrarily uh, small because the epsilon is for every epsilon. That means for any epsilon, the epsilon can be small and small, but it's fixed. For every fixed, maybe we call the, the, the epsilon should be fixed, but we can make it very small. That's the definition of the limit. The lim uh, the definition is maybe sometimes uh, difficult to understand, but we uh, uh, but we can Im image that the that that is actually the distance between two uh, di between the function as as and the numbers. Uh, for the definition, we should uh, notice that the in the plane in the plane. If this is a b x x y uh, approaches approaches to a b mm, 
there's there's infinite many ways to approach uh, to approach this AB. There's infinite many ways for x y approach this to AB. Uh, recall that for the single uh, single variable calculus, the limit exists. The limit exists if and only if the left limit equals the right limit. For, for the single variables, so for the single variable, we have to uh, get the left limit and the right limit equal. Then the, the, the limit uh, exists. But for the uh, for several variables, we op um, for the single variable, there's only two ways for uh, for x approaches to a. There's only two ways from the left and from the right. But for uh, several variables, x, x y uh, close uh, approaches to a b can be infinite many ways. We can approach by this way, this way, this way, this way, or like this way. Uh, even like we approach this to a b like this way. That means if we need to, if we want to prove that the limit exists, we have to uh, assume, assure that the anyways, the, the limit of any way, of any way should be equal. So this means if this means that if we want to prove that the limit does not does not exist limited if limited to prove the limit does not exist we only need to prove to need need to find or just to find two way, uh, two ways. Just need to find two ways with different with different uh, limit. If we need to prove the limit exists, we need to find the delta. Find the data such that the uh, inequality uh, holds. The inequality f x or y minus l absolute value less than epsilon hold. Uh, maybe some other ways to prove that the limit exists. Uh, for example, use the single the, some, some uh, conclusion of single variables. The, the, some uh, conclusions of single variable calculus. Now we uh, look for some two, uh, some, some examples. First, uh, find limit. Limit x y ten to zero zero x y that's x square plus y square if it exists. Uh, first, we check if if there's two ways, if there's two ways that the limit uh, with same di uh, same limit, for example, we let y equal zero and x change to zero. 
then the limiter uh, y equals 0, x change to 0, x uh, y over x squared plus y squared, because y is 0, so x is non zero, so the limit is 0. And if we let x equal 0, y approaches to 0, then the y approach to 0, x equals 0, x of y that's x square plus y square, still zero. That means from this two way, uh, from these two ways, that's y equals zero, x ten, uh, x ten to uh, approach it to zero, and uh, x equals zero, y approaches to zero. That is from x axis or y axis. Now which uh, we use another way. If we let y equals x or any kx, x y tend to zero, zero, and uh, y equals kx, x of y as x square plus y square. That is x y approaches to zero zero y equals k x. Here is k x square. That's x square plus k square x square. We cancelled the x square the factor x square. That uh, the the denominator. It becomes k. The denominator becomes 1 plus k square. x, y turn to 0, 0, and y equals k, x. For any line, for any line. Then it's k over 1 plus k square. That's non zero. And uh, uh, from the y-axis or x-axis, the limit uh, and the limits are zero. So, but for from the line y equals kx, we got the limit non zero. So, we say that the limit x of y change to zero zero x of y over x square plus y square does not exist. because we have two ways with different limits. A second one, we find the limiter x of y, x of y change to 0, 0, sin x of y over x. This limit, uh, we can change this limit to be the single variable limit. If we change the denominator to be x times y, then we have to times y to cancel the y. But the single variable limit x tend to zero sin x over x. This limit is one. Oh, the uh, x y tend to uh, zero two, maybe zero two. Then this limit, uh, this limit sin x of y over x of y this change to 1 because we can uh, use uh, uh, like the change of variable if we use change of variable u uh, ten, uh, u equals 
u equals x y then x y tend to zero too that means x tend to zero so x times y tend to zero that is u tend to zero and then y tend uh, approaches to two that is sine u over u times y sine u, uh, u over u that is one the limit of sine u over u that is one and y tend to two so the limit is two Uh, we uh, use the, sing, uh, the conclusion of a single variable calculus to find the limit of uh, uh, functions of several variables. And the third one, find limit x, y tend to 0, 0. 3x square y x square plus y square okay uh, this one should be I uh, we guess that this uh, this limit should be zero because uh, the denominator has order of three of x and y that's order three and uh, uh, the denominator has order that that is two maybe we can guess that the limit should be zero we claim the limit is zero now we prove it uh, 3x square times y over x square plus y square minus zero less than epsilon the proof I use the definition to prove the limit should always start from the inequality because the uh, epsilon is any number arbitrary number so uh, we start from this inequality to find to find the delta and to prove mm, this this means okay that's th this inequality that is 3x square times y x square plus y square less than epsilon now we uh, work for the uh, left hand part over x square plus y square the absolute value of this function is 3x square over x square plus y square times absolute value of y now uh, the denominator is x square plus y square so we uh, if we let the denominator be uh, denominator be smaller then the whole fraction should be bigger that is 3x uh, if we let y square equals 0 that x square is smaller uh, it's, uh, the, the denominator is smaller then the whole fraction is bigger that is 3 uh, times the absolute value of y the absolute y can be write as square root y square and the square root of y square is less than x square plus y square root of x square plus y square now if the x square uh, square root of x square plus y square is less than uh, epsilon then the whole fraction the whole function is less than less than epsilon so if 3 square root x square plus y square 
that's uh, epsilon uh, that is the square root x square plus y square less than epsilon over 3 then the absolute value is 3x square y over x square plus y square minus 0 less than epsilon that means uh, that means uh, we find the data because uh, if we let delta a cos 3 epsilon over 3 then if square root x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square less than delta then 3x square y over x square plus y square minus 0 less than epsilon holds by the definition then by the definition of limit we got the conclusion that x or y tends, uh, tends to 0, 0, 3 x square y over x square plus y square equals 0. Now, if we need to prove, if we need to prove the limit exists, we need to find the delta such that the the limit holds. Of, of course, the delta satisfies this equation here. We need to find delta. We know x minus a square, uh, square root x minus a square plus y minus b square less than delta, then the the uh, the inequality the inequality holds. That's the proof. At last, we talk about the uh, continuity. All functions. The continuity of functions of several variables. Uh, the definition of con uh, continuous uh, for f continuous at one point is the same as single single variable single variable calculus. The definition is like th is this: if limit x y tends to a b f x y equals f a b then we say that f x y is continuous at x uh, at x b at this point a b of course we need uh, we need the condition that f x y uh, is defined we need f x y should defend defend in a uh, in a neighborhood of a b a b then we can define the limit uh, in the definition of the continuity we know that there is actually uh, there in, uh, uh, there imp uh, include three conditions. The three conditions. This this uh, definition that means 
the first f x y uh, should uh, f f x y should be defined on a uh, at a b. At this point, and the second, the limit x y tends to a b f x y should uh, should exist. And third one, the limit should uh, should equal the value. Should equal the value uh, the fun uh, the value of function at this point. The continuity includes the three con uh, three conditions. And if f x y uh, continues, if x f x y is continuous at each point, continuous at each point on some uh, on some set on some sub subset of R2 we say that it, we say that f x y is continuous on D Continues on the whole on the whole set. That's the definition of continuous. Uh, there's no there's no new uh, actually uh, there's no new uh, no new material here. It just like the uh, definition of that just like the definition of a single variable calculus. That's the limits and the continuity of several, several variables.